still have nightmares about Adam's last moments. And I'm sure his mother will too, and probably his wife. Robert Gregg came to court to see his son's murderer, Miles Matthews, take a plea deal. Adam Gregg was a taxi driver in 2014 when he picked up Matthews and gave him a ride to Oldham County. In court, Matthews gave his version of what happened that night when he met a drug dealer to purchase heroin. I walked up to his car and there was an altercation. The individual followed me back to the car and was hostile in the window. It was a threatening situation, Adam Gregg felt threatened and he pulled a knife. The situation was was crazy and I thought uh, I was gonna be attacked by either him or the individual. I pulled my knife. I fought Adam in the car. The individual fled. Adam and I fell outside of the car and then struggled to the tree line where he fell and I knew he was deceased. But Robert Gregg does not believe the story. He thinks Matthews isn't telling the whole truth and says it was unlike his son to carry a knife. Adam was a gentle soul and he wouldn't have started a fight at all. I doubt that he, and he didn't even have a knife on him when this occurred. He says the plea deal provided little in the way of closure. Honestly, uh, I had hoped he'd get life with no, no opportunity at pro, um, but hopefully he won't live to see the outside of prison. Mark Vanderhoff. WLKY News. In addition to murder, Matthews pleaded guilty to robbery, tampering with evidence, and fraudulent use of a credit card. The sentences for those crimes range from 12 months to five years, but the plea deal recommends he serve them concurrently with the murder sentence. Matthews will be formally sentenced next month.